the most challenging thing was the acquisition process. There were 90 townhome units that we had to acquire, and in addition to that, there was a liquor store, a three-flat building, and some vacant land. A lot of the owners lived outside of the state of Illinois, so we had to track them down, and then some were reluctant to sell or had unrealistic pricing. The acquisition process in and of itself took about two and a half years. The financing for this was very difficult. We had, in the end, about 17 financing sources with money from Cook County, Ida, historic and low-income tax credits, and then in addition, several greening grants. We have hot water solar panels on the two mixed-use buildings. We have a bioswale that's in between the two mixed-use buildings so that we didn't have to do a lot of piping that allows for the stormwater detention. On the townhome buildings, we did some energy insulation techniques and then in addition, reflective roofs that helps to offset the energy costs. There's enclosed backyards with fencing. There's private patios. The larger unit that are three bedrooms. It's like single family home living, but more affordable rents. You can't tell from the outside that there are low income families living here. Like they live in a community, not in a project. The landscaping is extensive, and so the kids can go in the yards. I like the quiet in my building. I like that we can rent the activity room for such a nominal fee, and I love, love, love my bathroom. I also like the fact that the unit is easy to care for. The floors and the counter, it wipes up really easy, and I like the spaciousness, so, so it's a really nice fit for me. I like my neighbors. I just love how nice they keep their homes, even the ones with children. They really seem to really embrace the units and decorate them as a home. Quality of life is important to people when you have a little money, because I have a little money and I, you know, want to live somewhere where you're not ashamed to invite people to come visit you. I think overall this for Riverdale is a new concept. I mean, they haven't had a lot of new affordable um, rental opportunities here. And so this is something that's, you know, extraordinary for the residents.